Hi. So today in this part, let us look at a database called DuckDB. See, I was also wondering what is DuckDB, and if we have databases like Snowflake, Redshift. So why do we need this? That was my question. So what is a DuckDB? First of all, the one thing. I came to know is we don't have to install DuckDB like a database product. It is not a database like we used to install Oracle or SQL Server. It does not work that way. That is point one. So you might go through a lot of documentation to understand it. I am just telling you in one line. It is not like Oracle DB2. Uh, SQL Server, it is not like those databases, and it is also not like Snowflake. It is not physically existing. We make calls to your Python code. We do uh, API calls similar to that. We have to include the library. There is a library for DuckTV. We do pip install. So I'll come to that. First of all. What is DuckDB? See, like I explained, it is a in-process database. We don't have to install it the traditional way. It is a in-process database, and it runs on single machine. It is not having parallelism like Snowflake. It is not based on MPP architecture. It is massive parallel processing architecture. No, it is single machine. Why the hell are we talking about this database in the world now? Snowflake, Redshift, etc., Synapse. These are the databases which are catching up. Why the hell we need something which works on a single machine? We will come to that. The focus why we do this is performance and ease of use. You have suppose somebody gives you a file. It is a five GB file. So what will you do? You will migrate that data to a database and then fire queries, maybe a Snowflake database. But here we are telling, don't do that. Use your Python code, import DuckDB libraries, and make a connection to DuckDB, and then you can access the file. The file may be stored on S3. We will come to all of those details. And this is very good for smaller and medium data sets. Uh, not very effective for massively large data sets, but it still works for large data sets. So this is the part. And I already explained it is not a database like Snowflake, BigQuery, Redshift. BigQuery is a Google product. It is a Google Cloud. Product GCP victory, we call it. See what is the use case? Why should we use DuckDB? This is the use case. Somebody gives you a large file like a one GB file. You want to do data exploration. You want to use it to do some prototyping. You want uh, to perform any data science work. So you can just have it locally. Do all of those things. Don't have to move the data into Snowflake and then fire those queries and use a lot of compute. You don't have to do that. So I was curious. See, we already have Redshift Spectrum in Redshift, AWS Redshift. There is a product called Redshift Spectrum. So there you don't load the file in database, but you can access the file directly like an external table. You can do that. So if we already have that kind of provision, I was very curious why we will need a DuckDB when, if suppose I already have Redshift, so I will use a Redshift Spectrum. Why should I use DuckDB? So DuckDB, it is for local data analysis, single machine, very fast. Okay, but you will not have scalability of a distributed system that is not there. Just like Snowflake, Redshift, these are massively scalable 
databases, you will not get all of those options in that DB. In Redshift Spectrum, you can use massive datasets, very large datasets. You need to, uh, you can use distributed query engine. And if you are already using Redshift, it makes sense. So in the cloud context, what can Redshift do? Uh, sorry, what can Dash DB do? Uh, sorry, Duck DB, not Dash DB. So Duck DB, uh, you know, story cloud storage. If you have something on say AWS S3 or Azure Blob Storage or Google Cloud Storage, you can plug Duck DB configure to talk to that and fire SQL queries directly. You don't have to worry about loading it. And it can run in cloud environments. You can put it on EC2 or you can use serverless like Lambda function and call uh, or import the uh, DB functions that you can do libraries. And you can integrate with cloud workflows. That is also possible. See, now in current times, DuckDB is popular. See, right now, we are working in a field or in an age where uh, clients want to reduce their license cost. They don't want to marry a particular company or a product of that company. They want to use as much open source as possible. Just like marriage, people don't want to marry. They want open relationships. They just have living partners. Similarly, open source gives that kind of flexibility to clients. So, DuckDB will help you in the, that regard that you don't have to worry about putting your data, migrating it into a database and then fire SQL queries. You can directly fire SQL queries on the file itself. Best thing is have the file in uh, paraquet format. Paraquet format. This is a data file format, like just like CSV. You have parquet format. You, if you have the data in parquet format, DuckDB is also columnar in nature. It will give you very good performance from an analysis standpoint. Okay. So in the next part, we will look at more details. We will try to see if you uh, are your like for your client, for example, if they are already on Snowflake. Uh, then what advantage you get by using DuckDB? Should you use DuckDB in that case or not? We will look at that in the next part. So if you have not yet subscribed, do so. And a lot of content is there in the, uh, you become a member, join the channel, become a member and cloud, become a cloud kernel member. This will give you access to a lot of content important questions for certifications, practice questions with lot of analysis, in-depth explanation, and all of this cutting edge technologies that is coming through. We are posting all of these videos so that you are aligned to what is happening in the current world from a technology perspective. So our channel is of uh, like we, we have no freeze. So that's why you may not have very jazzy uh, videos, we we just we don't have that kind of funding to uh, buy equipments or or an excellent mic and those kind of stuff. But we do our best to analyze before we produce all of this content, so that uh, and since we work in the industry using these products, so we are talking from our rich experience. So you can trust the content that we are putting here. See you in the next part.